In this problem, we're told a 75 kilogram ice skater moving at 10 meters per second crashes into a stationary skater of equal mass. After the collision, the two skaters move as a unit at 5 meters per second. Suppose the average force a skater can experience without breaking a bone is 4,500 newtons. If the impact time is 0.1 seconds, does a bone break? So basically, right before we have the skater, 10 meters per second, and they're going to crash into the stationary skater, right? And then after, they're just going to be combined and they're going to move this way, right? So there's going to be some force here created, right? And so in order to solve this problem, let me explain to you how we're going to do it. So we have this thing called F average, right? So this is just the average force experienced. And you need to know it's equal to the change in momentum over the change in time, right? So change in momentum is the same thing as the impulse, right? So the impulse over the change in time, okay? So basically, we know F average, right? So it's 4,500. If, if, if it's greater than 4,500, they're going to break a bone, right? So when we find the impulse here, basically, if we divide it by the change in time, right? The change in time in this case, or the impact time, you call it, is 0.1 seconds. If the impulse, right, which is the change in momentum over 0.1 is greater than 4,500, right? That means the bones will break. So we need to find out if it's greater or not, if it's greater than 4,500 or not, right? So F is 4,500 newtons. And so basically, we need to solve for the impulse, right? Because we're going to divide it by 0.1 and see if it's greater. So now that we know that information, what we're going to want to do is find the change in momentum, right? So, because that's what we need in order to solve this problem. And so the change in momentum, we're looking at the change in momentum of the second person, right? Because that's the person whose bones are, we're seeing if they'll break, right? And so we know momentum, right? P equals MV. And so basically, we want to look at their momentum before and their momentum after, right? So what is the momentum before? So the momentum before is going to be zero, right? Well, momentum is mass times velocity, so their mass is 75 times their velocity, which is zero. So it's just zero, right, their momentum before. But after, their mass is 75, right, and now they're moving at 5 meters per second, right? So 75 times 5, right, if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that it equals 375. So now it's going to be 375. That's their momentum after, right? So that's going to be the, the change in it was just going to be 375, right? It's just the final minus the initial. So the change momentum is 375, and if we want to find F average... 375, and then you divide it by the change in time, which is 0.1, right? If you do this, so do 375 divided by 0 0.1, 3750. Keep in mind, this is going to be newtons because it's a force, right? And so 3750 newtons is going to be uh, the force they experience, right? And so we know 4500, if it's greater than that, they'll break their bones. But notice it's not greater than that, right? So 37500, it's less than 4500 meaning their bones are not going to break, right? Because it's less than the force required to break the bones. So yeah. Bones won't break, so the bones won't break. But yeah, so since it's less, it won't break, right? So this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.